Welcome to creating and implementing a Kepler Universal Device Driver Profile. In this video, we'll show you the completion of a simple UDD profile. We'll load the profile into our profile library and we'll implement the profile in a driver to connect to your target device. This video will assume that the user has previous knowledge of JavaScript, has Kepserver EX or ThingWorks Kepler Server version 6.10 or higher installed on their Windows OS, and has basic configuration knowledge of Kepler. It also assumes that the user has watched the previous video entitled Getting Started with Kepler Universal Device Driver Profile Development. I've opened a sample Universal Device Driver Profile script in Visual Studio Code, but you can use any text or code editor to create your JavaScript plain text file. I've used this file to define a simple solicited driver that sends an ASCII request to a target, awaits a response, and processes the return data. You'll see at the beginning of my script, I've chosen to define constants for unchanging static values like version and mode, driver actions, and supported Kepler driver data types. Here I've defined on profile load. I initialize cache in case I want to use cache in my script, and I return the mode in UDD API version, which is currently 2.0. Here I've defined the on validate tag function. You can see that I use a simple regular expression to ensure that I have at least one character in my tag address. I also changed the unassigned default type of this tag to string because the return data will be ASCII characters. Assigning data types in the profile script allows Kepler configuration users of this driver to add tags without the need to also assign data types during tag addition. Here I have on tags request. Since my target expects an ASCII string, I will assign a simple string to a variable named request, convert the string request variable into a byte string, and tell my driver to send the bytes and wait for a response. Notice that for troubleshooting and development, I've logged the names of the tags related to this request to the Kepler event log. Finally, I have my on data function. My device target will simply echo my request message back to me as its own response message. I convert the response from a series of bytes to a string, and after logging the string to the event log for troubleshooting, I then assign the string to the value of the tag object related to this request. I then tell the driver that the action is complete, and I return the tag with its assigned value. I'll now save this script. I'll now load the profile script into the Kepler profile library within my Kepler configuration tool. I'll copy the alphanumeric script identifier out of the script object and get ready to use this within my UDD channel. I'll now create my UDD channel. I'll select the universal device driver. I'll give it a name. I'll assign it a network adapter, in this case, the wireless network that connects me to the target device. Notice that when I create the channel, I'll paste the copied script identifier into the ID field. This links the channel, an instance of the universal device driver, with its definition script. After the channel is created, I'll create the device object. The device is where I assign the target IP address and TCP port where my target's located. In this case, my target is defined by a domain name. My TCP port number is 4242. Once the device is created, I'll create a tag. Finally, I'll read this tag with quick client the included Kepler test utility. When the tag is read, the driver is instructed to create and send the request message defined in the profile script. When the data is returned, the driver processes the response and provides the values to Kepler server. The value of the tag is shown here along with good quality to indicate a successful device transaction. Thank you for watching. Sample UDD profiles are included in the Kepler server installation directory, and more examples are included online in our GitHub repository, github.com slash ptcinc.